Hey there, I am pleased to report that Descript 3.4 is now available for download. This is our first release in a few months and there's a huge amount of new features and improvements. I'll just quickly run through the highlights in this video and then there are specific videos about each feature if you wanna go deeper. First big feature is publishing. Now you can already share a Descript project via a link and it'll open in any browser, but sometimes, maybe to collect feedback or to have a fixed long-term home for your creation, sometimes you just wanna share a single composition in your project and you don't want it to keep changing as you edit. That's why we built Publish. Just click Share, Publish, and in seconds you'll have a link that you can share with whoever. It loads fast and looks great on both desktop and mobile. You can publish the whole composition or just a selection, and if you want, you can publish it as an audiogram. If you don't know what an audiogram is, it's just a video visualization of your audio that's really nice for sharing on social media or to quickly share snippets of your creation with your collaborators. Okay, on to the second big feature. Now, when you record in Descript, we transcribe it live. This even works with multi-track recordings. Behold, as perfectly positioned speaker labels appear in real time. Now, live transcription has three major benefits. First, you don't have to wait for your file to transcribe after you're done recording. It's a huge productivity improvement. And if you still haven't tried recording in Descript, now's a great time. Second, it looks cool. Third, you can actually edit while you're recording. For those of you who record voice talent, this is a huge deal. There's never been anything like it. It effectively lets you do all of your editing during the session without stopping recording. So you'll walk out of your session with your recording edited and ready to go. We have a whole separate video on this if you're interested in learning more. Third up, we've made some great improvements to the way Overdub works. If you don't know what Overdub is, by the way, it's our AI voice synthesis that lets you generate audio in your own voice. We've now completed the work integrating Overdub into the Descript editor. So all you have to do is associate your Overdub voice with a speaker label, and then you just type and we automatically generate audio as you go. Overdub has been in private beta up until now, but we're starting to really increase the speed at which we're letting people in. So if you're interested in Overdub, this is a good time to apply. There's a new tab in the project browser where you can request access and then see where you are in line. Once you have access to Overdub, we'll guide you through recording 10 minutes of audio that you can submit to create your voice. While Overdub is in its introductory phase, voices are just $99 per year, and you'll have a chance to play with them and hear the results before you buy. All right, next up, we've added a quick switcher. You might have seen these things in Slack and other apps like that. You just press Command K or Control K on Windows, and then you type some stuff to quickly get around your project. You can type in the name of a composition, markers within your composition, or just the time you want to jump to. It's pretty handy. All right, we've gotten through the big features, but here are some small ones that lots of you have been asking for, so they're worth mentioning here. We now add very short five millisecond crossfades to all edits. They're so short that the only thing you're going to notice is that your edits are less likely to pop. We've also added a new sidebar view for comments. You can change the sorting order, so if you just want to see the most recently added comments, you can do that. And you can also flip to see all of your archived comments. We have some new keyboard shortcuts. We actually changed the ignore keyboard shortcut to command delete, which is easier to remember and type. And we added keyboard shortcuts for share, publish, and export. Uh, command shift S, P, and E respectively, or control shift thing if you're on Windows. And when you use these keyboard shortcuts, it'll bring up the middle in the way that you left it, making it nice and fast to publish and export a bunch of stuff. Finally, there's tons of bug fixes, polish work, and performance improvements. Check out the change log for more details. It's too much to mention here. That's it. We hope you have fun with this release. We'll have another for you soon. What do you think we should build? We'd love your feedback. So head over to feedback.descript.com and tell us what to do. Thanks.